Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. In this video, my daughter and I did some 4K video renders out of Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, and Final Cut Pro. And the new MacBook Air M1 and my two-year-old MacBook Pro. Which was faster? Stick, Stick around, around to, to find, find out. out. We wanted to see how the render times of the baseline 8-core, 8 8GB, 13-inch M1 MacBook Air compared to the 2018 6-core i7, 16GB, 15-inch MacBook Pro. Two years ago, the MacBook Pro cost $3,500 Australian, compared to the MacBook Air that cost 41% of that at $1,439 with a 10% discount. Hopefully, the M1 MacBook Air will save me time editing and rendering so I can spend more time doing what matters, hanging out with my family. Hi, I'm Christopher Dean, and this is my daughter, Aisha. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs> wow. Okay, so this is the first video that we're doing this year, and Aisha here is gonna help me run these tests. So she, at the moment, is with the MacBook Pro on the left, which is from 2018, and I'm gonna be running the first test on the M1. My father has been using Premiere for a very long time. He would like to get some efficiency out of it. So let's run the first test. It's mm. in Premiere Pro on the left, and it's in the uh, beta version of Premiere Pro for Apple Silicon on the right. In three, two, one, go. Yep, all right. They're off to the races! Ooh, who's gonna win? I actually don't know. And I don't know if you can hear this yet, but the MacBook Pro's fan has already kicked off. What does it sound like, Sean? <laughs> Whereas the MacBook Air here... Is silent. Is silent. It's fanless. Which is just ridiculous. Ooh, what I might do when we're running these tests is uh, take the power cord out too to see how much uh, battery they both lose. So do that, pull that out. Let's bring it over here to the back. Oh, the M1 has overtaken oh, the uh, MacBook Pro. Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna come back in about maybe seven minutes and see what the differences in time are. All right. All right, how much time we got left? Mine is saying two minutes and 46 seconds. Six minutes and seven seconds. Wow. Okay, bye. We're down to about the last 47 seconds on the M1. Mm -hmm. How's the pro doing? Um, four minutes and 26 seconds. Four minutes and 26 seconds. <laughs> okay, we've been running this test for about 10 minutes and 52 seconds at the moment. And all right, let's count down the M1. Seven, six, five, four, four. three, two, two one. one. Okay, 11 minutes and 29 seconds for the M1. We're still going on the Pro, and that says it's got three minutes and 45 seconds left. Let's come back when it's finished. Okay, we're down to the last <laughs> 53 <laughs> seconds on the pro. Four, three, two, one, done. Okay, so after the first test out of Premiere on a 10 minute timeline at 4K with the regular YouTube H.264 settings, the M1 came in at 11.29 and the pro came in at 16.04. And if we look at the battery that's left on each laptop, what does yours say? 75. 75% on the Pro yes. and 97% on the Air. 
Save some battery. Jeepers creepers. Save some good battery. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the next test is out of... Da Vinci Resolve. Leonardo Da Vinci? Resolve. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's his last name? Okay, here we have the same 10 minute timeline in Da Vinci Resolve. And we're going to export it to the YouTube settings that DaVinci Resolve has that are 4K and hopefully uh, similar to what we just did in Premiere. And we'll see what the time difference is here. So, are you ready? Yes. Cool. All right. Just press save and three, two, one, go. Okay. Which one is going faster, that one? <laughs> I got that. Okay, so just look off the bat, the M1 is going a little bit faster. Yep. How many frames per second is this rendering at? This is at around 24 frames per second. 24. What's this one? This is 21. 22. Huh? Yeah. So at the moment, this is saying it's got about 10 minutes left, but it's ramping up. See, this is actually faster than real time. So is that. So it's actually um, actually speeding up pretty good. All right, we'll come back when they're close to finishing up. Bye. How does the M1 go so fast? Hey, how are you going, Woody? <laughs> 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 That's how you feel using an M1. Trust me. Okay, so we've got around 40 seconds left on the air and around 3 minutes and 12 seconds left on the Pro. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 9.23. Nine, 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 okay. Hmm, not too bad. We'll come back. Not too shabby. <laughs> Ninja computers? Ninja computers? Yeah, it's a ninja computer. No, it's not a ninja computer. It's for spies. This is the entry level laptop for Apple now. It's the base level as well. I've only got eight gigabytes of RAM. It's only got seven core uh, GPU, unlike the Pro or the uh, upgraded MacBook Air. Um, so far, it's smoking the old Pro. Okay, let's come back in around two minutes. Finish this one up. Okay, around 45 seconds left on the Pro for the uh, DaVinci Resolve test. The fan again on the Pro is just going nuts. Could cook an egg on yeah. that laptop. Okay, 15 seconds left. What? Is this oh, even more? How... Is this even more? No. That's how. All right, here we go, Shan. Four, three, two, one. 12.34. 12.34. So what's the official time here, Aisha? For the air, it rendered for nine minutes and 23 seconds. And On the Pro, it rendered for 12 minutes and 34 seconds. So what's the time difference there? Um, to be exact, three minutes and 11 seconds. Ooh, not bad. Not bad at all. Not too shabby. Because three, because nine plus three equals twelve. Yeah. 
And 23 plus 11 equals 34. Yeah. Yay, maths! <laughs> maths is the best <laughs> subject ever. Okay, the third and final test is with Final Cut Pro. <gasps> Get it? The final test? <laughs> yeah. Dad jokes. <laughs> okay, before we start the Final Cut Pro render test, let's have a look at the battery. How much is left on yours, Jack? 41%. 41 after Ooh. two 4K renders out of two different pieces of software and... I don't believe it. <laughs> the M1 MacBook Air is at 85%. How? How? Magic. So like, it lost only like... 15%. And, and this is last. This. Oh, it's already down to 39. Oh, we better hurry up or else it's going to run out of battery before we even finish. Okay, and for the Final Cut Pro test, the Air is running the Apple Silicon optimized version of Final Cut Pro and the Pro is using the normal version of Final Cut Pro. Let's go. Press save and one, two, three. Okay, they're about even. Yeah. Interesting. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> maybe that's because... <laughs> maybe that's because Final Cut Pro is pretty optimized anyway. I mean, it's Apple's own software. This is going faster. Oh, really? Because this one went to 8 before it, this did. But this one went to 9 before this. My face is correct. No, it is not. <laughs> I think it's going to be quite close. The other ones were pretty, uh, pretty clear, right? The Air beat the Pro pretty convincingly. But this is going to be different. Mm-hmm. Because this one was going faster than this for a very long time. But this is now going faster than this. Wow. There's only really 2% in it now. And we're only up to... Okay, so look, look at this. So we're at 26% already and we haven't even clocked two minutes. So already Final Cut Pro is faster than Premiere and DaVinci Resolve. Okay, let's come back when they're close to finishing up. Okay, so we've got up to 89% in the Air Final Cut Pro. And 66. 66% in the Pro. Okay, what's this gonna be? Okay, get ready. Now, 610. And we're up to almost 70% on the Pro. What an embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> well, not really. This is like comparing apples to apples. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought this would be closer. I really do. I mean this has 16 gigabytes of RAM, this only has 8. <laughs> Alright, so we're almost there, we're at 89%. Say no, we Okay, <laughs> I will. <laughs> I, I, I am concentrated. Very focused. Thank you so much for helping me. 92%. 93. Ninety-four. Ninety-five. Go. Eight fifty-three. Eight fifty-three. So the outcomes of the Apple devices where the MacBook Air managed to render up to the time of 6 minutes and 10 seconds. Hmm. hmm. Cool. What about the Pro? Oh. He didn't do too well. He, he, he turned in his schoolwork late. <laughs> he turned in his schoolwork. 
Alright, so the MacBook Pro, he rendered in a time of 8 minutes and 53 seconds. Hmm. And taking another look at the battery after the Final Cut Pro test, so that's three tests now. The Pro is at... 18%. 18%, while the Air is at 80%. How does it do it? I don't know. This is just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous at this point, isn't it? Okay, so it's easy to see that the Air did better than the Pro, and if I switch from Premiere to Final Cut Pro, I'll be gaining more time in editing and rendering, and I can spend the spare time I have with you. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. He tried his best. He tried his best. Poor MacBook Pro. <laughs> It's time to say goodbye, MacBook Pro. And hello, M1, MacBook Air. Once again, the base model with only eight gigabytes of RAM, smoking the Pro from two years ago. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you're taking care out there, looking after yourselves and each other. Stay safe. Yeah. Physically and mentally. Good advice, yeah? And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.